lovelies and welcome back to crazy but not dangerous i'm shorty fawn and i'm outside cooking today i'm cooking on the grill so let me show you what i got here i got two chuck steaks i got them over at the albertson's and they were 30 percent off of 14 dollars and 54 cents so paid a little bit under ten dollars for them i have seasoned them very simply using this sweet mesquite seasoning from Costco and I've just put a little bit on there I've got I've got plenty of pellets in my hopper I'm gonna put the lid down and I'm going to let these go 45 minutes on each side flipping them over making sure each side gets smoky and delicious this is set to just smoke and it is right now at about 150 degrees um, and it's just on the smoke setting it's just it it's just on the smoke setting because I want it to be really smoky and delicious super yummy and then I'm actually going to take it inside and I am going to braise it in the oven for about three more hours with some braising liquid and some aromatics and celery carrot and onion because you know that's how I like it anyhow it's gonna be plenty of sauce it's gonna be plenty delicious um, we're gonna be producing all the good smells it smells amazing and um, yeah, super excited to have you along with me it's grilling season in my yard it is also weed season and so yeah I've been all over town today I made, I made, I had some returns for Amazon. I had to go to Kohl's. Ooh, that puppy's really smoking now. I had to go to Kohl's and do some returns. Then I had to pick up a couple of things because they had some clearance merchandise. Then I went to Home Depot and picked up some honeydews and a new weed whacker because I broke mine. And then I went to the Dollar Tree because it's on the way home. And I, the car, the car just, it just went in that direction. It just went. I had no control. I'm powerless to the Dollar Tree. I admit it. Anyhow, I got some treasures, but you'll be seeing some of those in the upcoming week. Yay, great. Dollar Store deals. You know I love it. Anyhow, hey, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. I'm spending mine outside. I hope that you're spending yours with kids and family and loved ones and maybe you're outside too me and piggy we're out here we're out here on the patio just doing our thing anyhow yeah day three barbecue i'm gonna go inside and chop up some celery carrots and onion for my braise my braising liquid is going to be well we'll make that it's going to be barbecue sauce and a few extras because we like it smoked and we also really like a lot of sauce but you know that you watch my sh you watch my videos you know I like a lot of sauce anyhow we're gonna go in when it's cool this doesn't need my attention we're gonna we're gonna watch it like you know a 10 year old an 11 year old don't burn the house down that's all I'm asking okay I'm gonna take my debris and get on back inside where it's cool we got the we're still running the swamp cooler it's awesome and uh, it's much cooler in there than it is out here and i'll just aggravate my neighbors with the smell of barbecue does that happen to you do you pull into your neighborhood like oh hey somebody is grilling that smells amazing and then you have grill envy we do that all the time we do that all the time andrew has grill envy so today we are you know we're providing the envy all right i'm gonna let this i'm going in Go, I'm going in. Okay, so after about 45 minutes, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to flip these over. It's still just on smoke. And you know what I've decided is that I'm not going to heat up the house by braising them inside from the oven. What I'm going to do is find something that will go over here on the Traeger. I'm going to turn it up to 275 degrees and the Traeger is really good at keeping a pretty consistent temperature. So I'm going to find something 
put my braising liquid and my aromatics in here and just do everything outside so that I don't have to. So I don't have to heat up the house. I think that's a good plan. Yay, hooray. It is so bright and sunny out here today. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And the sun shifted, so I'm, I'm losing my shade. I'm going back in. I'm going to stay cool. Hope you're staying cool, too. Yay, hooray, barbecue. Can I just tell you that it is hotter than a popcorn fart out there? Lord's mercy. And it's only going to get worse. This is a nice day. Every year I say, why do I live here? Why do I live here? And then it comes October and, you know, it's nice and cool and I guess that's why I live here. I'm going to make the braising liquid. So you can see here, I have just a little bit of carrot, celery, and onion. Yay, hooray. I'm just going to push those off to the sides a little bit. I don't have very much, but it is, I just always do it. It's, that's just how I braise. So. If you don't have the carrot, celery, and onion, omit it. And then I'm just going to make a little bit of braising liquid. I have some really cheap wine I got for $5 over at the Albertsons. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon Australia 2021. Hope it was a good year for them. I wasn't too thrilled about it, but you know, we're moving on. And you know it's a really good wine because this, this cap unscrewed really easily. I didn't have to strain at all. So i got my measuring cup here. I'm going to put, oh, about half a cup in here. Yeah, about half a cup. That sounds right. I have just this little tiny bit, pitiful, of hickory smoked craft barbecue sauce. It's going to, I'm going to put a little water in there to loosen it up. I don't know about that much water it's maybe half a cup maybe and then I'm just gonna give it a vigorous shake and go ahead and add that to my wine if you didn't want to use wine if you abstain from alcohol good for you um, I would just use maybe some beef broth or maybe um, water and a little extra salt and pepper. I would still use the barbecue sauce though. I'm going to add a touch of honey to it and we're going to say one, two, three tablespoons. There we go. A little yellow mustard. Why not? And I'll tell you what, I'll be glad when this mustard is empty because it has a dysfunctional cap and um, I'm over it. I'm over it. It came from the dollar store. So, you know, I'm over it, but I was grateful to get it for $1.25. Come on. And I'm going to put in, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of that. Got a little Worcestershire. Going to put a little bit of that in there, too. I don't know. Some. Maybe that, may, maybe that was a tablespoon. Maybe. Anyhow going to give it a little stir up. I'm not pouring it in here because I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to transfer my chuck sticks into this. And they're big and um, I don't want to put them in here and have them splash on me and, and ask me how I know that that's going to happen. Yeah. So I'm going to just go ahead and give my braising liquid a little stir up here and I'm going to walk it out. After I get my chuck steaks in here, I'm going to pour it over. I'm going to put the foil on top. I'm going to cinch it down nice and tight. And then I am going to go ahead and let that turn it up to 275 degrees. And I'm going to let that just go with the foil on top and do its little braising thing for about three hours. We've got just enough time. We've got just enough time. And the reason I'm doing the smoking and the braising is because a chuck cut, whether it's the whole roast or just the steak, is a very tough piece of meat. 
and that braise is going to make it like butter like butter i'm also probably going to go ahead and throw a couple of ears of corn on the cob on the grill for our vegetable and we are simply going to have that and then like a side salad so very simple not a whole lot of effort andrew did his honeydews he deserves a little treat a little yum yum barbecue it's not it's not like i've sacrificed anything i get to eat barbecue too okay let's go ahead and get these transferred they look really smoky and delicious oh and they fit fantastic there we go go ahead and put our chuck steaks right in there and then I'm gonna grab a piece of aluminum foil and I'm gonna set this right on top of the cooking rack to kind of protect the bottom of this baking dish um, because I don't want to scrub that hard and this is oven safe, so it is also Traeger safe. Yay, right. We've got our braising liquid here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that right over. Not getting splashed. That's awesome. And then finally, I am going to go ahead and cover this as tightly as I can. Those birds, you've got a lot to, the birds have a lot to say today. Oh, I, oh, it's a beautiful little goldfinch over on the fountain. He's lovely. I got a lot to say. He's like, lady, um, go away. I'm trying to get a drink and a bath. And I fill up the fountain for them every day so that they can just have a little something because it is hotter than a dickens. And I feel bad for them. And I get lots of wildlife. We live on a waterway and so we get everything from cats, rats, bats, hawks, owls, probably about different species of bird we get the love birds I love those they're so fun anyhow everybody comes for a drink at the at the fountain and uh, so that's tightly covered it's gonna do its thing and I am gonna go ahead and turn the Traeger up to 275 degrees and I am going to go ahead and let that braise I'm gonna go ahead and let that braise we're like the next three hours still doesn't need me and but we will come out here and pop some corn on the cob and i would just i would just put it right there on that top rack it doesn't need anything it doesn't need foil it doesn't need anything I'm just going to go ahead and put it right on there it's going to cook probably for the last hour and then we will go ahead and um yeah have dinner a little side salad just simple you know um, just a little lettuce, a little tomato, um, maybe a chopped up pickle. I don't, I don't think I have cucumber, but maybe a chopped up pickle, little, 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 maybe a little bit of blue cheese or something like that. It'll be delicious. It'll be fine. He's just about having a fit. He's, he's 
been poking me in the leg. Lady, lady, don't, don't, don't forget me. All right, I won't forget you, but you know, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. Anyhow, my lovelies, Chuck Steak. It was relatively inexpensive. It is going to be completely delicious. Oh, yeah. Got my corn on the cob in here, too. Corn on the cob. Yay, hooray. Got some salads on the refrigerator, staying nice and cool and out of the danger zone. Because I put a little bacon on them. Everything's better with a little bit of bacon. All right, my lovelies. Happy Mother's Day. Be good, be careful, look both ways. I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat some smoked and braised chuck steak. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. Be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.